Ramiris is one of the oldest demon lords, who are considered to be the strongest in the world of Tensura. This winged insect claims to be on par with demon lords Gai and Milim, and is said to be a being that goes through repeated reincarnations and growth. Although the eight-star demon lords typically rule over territories, Ramiris, in its smaller form, lacks intelligence and therefore has little ability to do things. Due to this, and the fact that it has no territory to rule over, it tends to be reclusive. However, Ramiris finally decided to move out after Milim showed off her new friend, and Ramiris sensed the joyful atmosphere of Tempest. Ramiris is now quite active, perhaps due to the recent addition of servitors that look the part. In this video, I summarize and introduce the power of the weakest demon lord, Ramiris, and its faction. Characteristics of Ramiris Ramiris is a demon lord with the nickname Labyrinth Fairy. Despite her small and adorable appearance, she was originally a magnificent being revered by elementals and pixies and held the position of Spirit Queen. Like Guy and Milam, she is one of the oldest demon lords and seems to have been tasked with maintaining the balance of the world by Veldanava. But she has fallen, and her memory and intelligence has been somewhat lacking. She has been confirmed to have a childlike personality easily lured by sweets, and satisfied with low-level pranks. However, she claims that her actions and speech are childish because her mind is still stuck in her young body. She was originally a guide for heroes and gave them blessings as the Spirit Queen. She has met Leon, who was a hero. Her former abilities were genuine, and she even demonstrated a feat of neutralizing Milam's rampage in ancient times. However, as a result, she was exposed to evil aura and fell into a demon lord who grows and reincarnates at regular intervals, ultimately becoming what she is now. In her child state, her thoughts and actions are somewhat childish, and the quality of her mischievous ideas is low, unable to match Rimuru's cunning. However, as the spirit queen, she is overwhelmingly knowledgeable about spirit engineering. She picked up the discarded shells of magic soldiers that failed in the Dwarf Kingdom and completed them as the Elemental Colossus. Also, Ramiris is the owner of the cheat skill Mazecraft, which creates a vast subspace. Inside the labyrinth, she can demonstrate almost universal power, as long as she is aware of the situation. She can even resurrect the dead. The activation condition is permission from the intruder themselves. And Rimuru and the children of Ingracia were able to pass through the gate of the spirit's dwelling by their own will, thus being under its influence. There were various traps inside the labyrinth that appear as a single path. There were also mechanisms that distort the sense of direction. There were also devices that Ramiris created to create fear. One of them was to give a trial with her proud golem. Even if Rimuru and his students lost their lives due to the golem, Ramiris planned to revive them, but it was ultimately destroyed by Rimuru. Depending on how it is used, it could have been used to torment Rimuru and potentially defeat him, but it seems that her weakness was still her intelligence. This ability of Ramiris will be used as a major project of Tempest, an artificial dungeon proposed by Rimuru. You can adventure up to 100 floors underground, with bosses placed every 10 floors. In the end, Veldora will be waiting as the last boss in the deadliest dungeon, and Ramiris seems to be delighted that she has a job to do. By the way, just as the sealed cave was infested with vicious monsters by Veldora's magicules, monsters pop up in this underground labyrinth by releasing Veldora's magicules, and rare items such as Magisteel appear one after another. Some of the treasure chests contain armaments made by Kurobe and adventurers gather to seek out unique items that are hard to come by. Also, as mentioned earlier, in this maze, depending on the will of Ramiris, her subordinates become immortal and become an invincible force. If used in a defensive battle, even monsters like Zegion and Veldora can be regenerated, creating an environment like hell. By borrowing evil ideas from Rimuru to Ramiris, the potential of this ability seems to be drawn out in an unimaginable direction. Ramiris, in the story, never leads the battle and leaves the intellectual aspects to Beretta. She is definitely the weakest among the eight-star demon lords, but when she activates Mazecraft, she becomes a nuisance. And with Beretta and the ten dungeon marvels together, she can exert considerable power. 
It is unknown what exactly happens after she grows, but her potential is terrifying, as she can match the strongest members like Guy and Milam. Beretta Rimuru visited the Dwelling of Spirits to stabilize the magicules of the students summoned from another world. There, Rimuru destroyed the elemental colossus of Ramiris. After obtaining the cooperation of the spirit queen Rimuris, in return, Rimuru summoned a golem. Rimuru made a spirit-dwelling object by hand, summoned a greater demon through a demon-summoning ritual, and, by possessioning the demon into the magical steel puppet, gave it the role of guardian and protector of Ramiris. By the way, Diablo, who had been eyeing the timing of Rimuru's demon summoning, happened to be absent, so this greater demon responded to the summons instead. Rimuru named the demon residing in the golem Beretta, and this demon became an archdoll and became the guardian of Demon Lord Ramiris based on Rimuru's contract. Beretta's appearance is characterized by silver hair that extends to the waist and a white mask. Originally, she had protruding teeth like fangs from her mouth, two buffalo-like horns, and a muscular and dark body. However, it is said that the true identity beneath the mask is that of a beautiful woman that Rimuru prefers. If the mask is not worn, a war over becoming the official wife is said to break out in Tempest. Beretta is a demon of the Black Lineage, which is said to be eccentric. Demons above Greater Demon belong to one of seven lineages, Red, blue, green, yellow, purple, white, or black. Although Beretta was originally Diablo's subordinate, it evolved on its own by inhabiting a golem. By the way, Diablo was jealous of Beretta, who was summoned by Rimuru before him and tried to punish her. But he gave up when Beretta told him, My body was made by Rimuru-sama. If you destroy it, you will incur Rimuru-sama's displeasure. Beretta became a subordinate of Demon Lord Ramiris and now serves as her research assistant and protector. Ramiris can be somewhat selfish, and Trainee, who loves her, has a hard time controlling herself when they're together. Beretta seems to enjoy the challenging tasks Ramiris gives her, and her serious personality is a good match for Ramiris's optimistic character. As previously mentioned, Beretta was summoned by Rimuru, so she has two masters, Rimuru, the summoner, and Ramiris, the protective target. At the Walpurgis, Guy pointed out this fact to Beretta, but she pledged to solely serve Ramiris and found a loophole by helping Rimuru as Master Ramiris' wishes. Beretta is also skilled at negotiation, as seen in her persuading Diablo and convincing Guy. As a result, the authority of Rimuru as the creator was delegated to Ramiris, and Beretta became a true subordinate of Ramiris. Additionally, Beretta has considerable combat skills due to being a demon of the Black Lineage. When Rimuru evolved into a demon lord, Beretta evolved from an arch doll to a chaos doll. Her unique skill, Reverser, allows her to automatically acquire the opposite attribute, enabling her to become a mysterious demon with the nature of angels while being a demon tribe. This skill reflects the impatience that Rimuru was sealed with in magic when he first fought Hinata and was given to Beretta as a gift when Rimuru evolved into a demon lord. This exquisite position is thought to be influenced by the fact that Beretta was originally a demon and now serves demon lord Ramiris, who is the spirit queen. Also, Beretta's special magisteel body is almost immune to all physical attacks and magic. Moreover, since she can control even the holy attribute, which was originally a weakness, she has no significant weakness. Beretta's first battle scene was at the first Walpurgis, where she fought as Rimuru's helper. Beretta, who was fighting against Viola controlled by Clayman, won with ease and showed her quirky side by obtaining loot from it. Originally, even among the greater demons, black subordinates were rare, and Beretta seemed to be alive and lively even when participating in battles. By the way, it is said that the fact that demons like Beretta wear tattered clothes indicates that they have lived long although there are exceptions. Beretta seems to be a rare demon who is permitted to call Guy's name, indicating that she has a certain degree of strength. Furthermore, she experienced a tense scene where she might be killed on the spot if she answered incorrectly in her exchanges with Guy, who treasures Ramiris. Beretta survived it and even showed behavior that pleased Guy in an instant. Later, she also fought Dino, who had overwhelming abilities, but Beretta withstood him with only her fighting sense. Beretta, who did not have an ultimate skill, 
experienced a defeat that was unbearable for a black subordinate. Rimuru gave her souls, prompted her to evolve further, and Beretta became a chaos metalloid. This race is also completely mysterious, and Beretta's entire body changed to the ultimate metal, Hihi Rokane, and she acquired the ultimate skill, Lord of Machine God, Deus Ex Machina. She can freely transform her entire body and has become a life form like fluid metal. Being able to freely change her body will be a significant advantage in battle, and she may enjoy fighting even more with this. Trainee Trainee is a dryad that protects the treants, who are a superior race in the forest. She is a mystical beauty with translucent pale white skin and blue eyes. She is also known as the forest manager and can be seen punishing those who are disrespectful or have harmful intentions towards the forest. Trainee has two younger sisters, Trya and Doris, who handle practical matters. The three sisters used to serve the spirit queen Ramiris, but were separated when Ramiris tried to control during Milam's rampage. Trainee and her sisters were immature and weak at the time, but they were protected by the storm dragon Veldora and became the managers of the great Jura forest. Dryads are elementals that reside in trees, so they are usually inactive. Although they have lived for thousands of years, according to Veldora, their active period is not very long. Dryads have a special ability to sense situations even from far away if there are plants around them, so it is believed that they could not be deceived about what happened in the Great Jura Forest and were able to detect the appearance of the Orc Lord early on. Trainee was also monitoring the first battle between Benimaru's group and Rimuru. Initially, Trainee was portrayed as a responsible forest manager, but gradually her true nature became more suspicious. In fact, she was quite bold in appointing Rimuru as the chairman and ate nothing but potato chips and sweets during meetings. However, she had a mysterious aura that made everyone reluctant to complain, so she had been tolerated until then. She had a strong obsession with potatoes and even made her own potato chips, which she offered as snacks in Tempest. But she had a bad habit of eating them herself. Since serving Ramiris, her clumsiness has increased, and she has even caused trouble for Beretta, a demon who also serves Ramiris. When Ramiris insisted on moving to Tempest, Trainee immediately agreed and built a shack in Rimuru's territory without permission. Of course, the gatekeeper found out, and caused an even bigger problem. But Trainee put the gatekeeper to sleep and tried to resolve the issue. Despite all the chaos, Ramiris and her followers, Trainee and Beretta, have settled down by participating in the operation of the underground labyrinth. Fairy Core The Fairy Core under Ramiris has three times the normal power in the labyrinth space. However, they are generally not useful as combat power because they usually only play pranks with Ramiris and have limited abilities. They also supported children at the Dwelling of Spirits when they summoned elementals, but they were often unnoticed due to their small size and had many disadvantageous roles. However, the relationship with Ramiris is good, and they seem to have built a good relationship with Beretta, who has newly joined as a subordinate. They are a heartwarming group of weak individuals. Reasons not to anger Ramiris Ramiris, who is not considered a combat force, can exhibit overwhelming power when she returns to her position as the Spirit Queen. Her appearance is dignified, and she seems to possess enough wisdom to speak of the world's hidden truths. However, Ramiris is still just a winged insect that often gets caught by Diablo or is protected by hiding behind someone. For one of the oldest demon lords, she seems to have no position, but Rimuru, the strongest allies, Guy and Milam, and everyone else will surely support Ramiris. If there is a battle, there is also the possibility that the board Veldora will join in, so it seems that several beings that have the potential to destroy the stars will be moving against Ramiris's opponent. She is a winged insect that must never be opposed. How was it? Despite being the weakest demon lord, she is the one entity that must not be made an enemy. She seems to have little popularity due to her tendency to play pranks and act like a neat, but her past accomplishments in saving the world and her strong connection to the oldest demon lords are too powerful. It's good that she was able to move to Tempest and find work. In this channel, I will continue studying to enjoy Tensura in the future. So please subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.